Hi, my name is Moala and welcome to my tutorial. To support my video, please subscribe in my channel and watch my other tutorials too. In BeforeX pages, it's a little bit challenging to make a splash screen. So in this tutorial, we want to make something like this. If you want to make splash screen by BeforeX pages, there is a sample code in this topic. You can find it inside forum and there is the sample code here. But that is a little difficult to understand. So I want to tell you why he made something like this and what is the process. So we go step by step. We will face one problem, then we will solve that. Then we will solve another problem. Stay tuned. Let's start everything from scratch. So uh, one new project, one just simple name for that. Okay, there is one page here but I want to make another page, another layout for Splash. So let's create a new layout, maybe one label in the center of this layout, one big label like this. And the text of this one can be Splash to show that this is a Splash and maybe alignment and size. Horizontal center and vertical center and size, maybe 40, I want it very big. Very good. I can save it. Splash layout. Okay. Now first, I want to load that one. So instead of this one, let's load that layout, splash. And maybe the other layout, I can load it in another page. So we need to create another page. Page two, on the line C. And I can load the other layout here. So root.load layout and here. So the main page will be here. So splash will be here and main page which had one button here. So we don't need it anymore. Okay. Now I need to load this page here after this one. So maybe after while, after sleep, I can load this one. So if I want to load another page, we need four lines of code. Dim P2, I explained that in my other tutorials. So maybe it's a better idea to watch other tutorials about BeforeX pages before this, if you are not familiar with this process. So P2 underline initialize, and then I need to add it to BeforeX pages. We have a new page. Its name is page two, and that variable P2. Now we can open that. We can show that. What was the ID page two? We just created that. Very good. Let's see the result. So first I'm loading this splash and after one uh, second, I'm going to, yes, this one and then this one. Uh, first of all, let's have that um, uh, theme which I told you about that in previous tutorial in this one because everything is white and I don't understand that very well. So I need to go to this topic again. I told you about this theme and how to work with that. 
in my previous tutorial, third tutorial about BeforeX pages, and you can refer to that. So let's paste it at the end. And again. Okay, couple of problems. First of all, um, now this is my main page, isn't it? And still I see this uh, arrow here. If I press that, it takes me to a splash screen. It's not good. So when I go from this page to this page, I don't need that arrow here. How to solve it? Easily, instead of show page, you can say show page and remove previous page. Let's run it again. Okay, now, um, yes, I don't see it anymore. But let's solve another problem. Pay attention to splash. You see that title there. This is my splash. Okay, we need maybe more time to see that. You have that title. Okay, main page, and this is splash, and this one. I need that blue color for action bar for the whole part of a splash. How do I find, uh, how can I find that blue color inside manifest? For action bar, we use that. So let's copy that. And by holding control, I can go to splash and here I can paste that. Now the whole part of a splash is blue. Let's run it again. Okay, this is blue, but this one, how to get rid of that text? That is easy, as I told you before. You can use set title. Which page? Same, me. And the title can be empty. You see white screen before that, we will talk about this and this one. And this is blue, but uh, how to get rid of that title bar completely? Let's see that again. Because you see this shadow and um, yes, how to get rid of tidal bar and action bar in a splash because we need it in this page, but we don't need it in a splash. Can I have one page with tidal bar, another page without tidal bar? Um, now we cannot do it. Why? Because all pages are inside this activity. And this activity, it has that action bar. So what is the solution? Maybe you can guess that we can have two separate activity. One for pages with title. One for a splash without title. So we need another activity. Let's create that. I need another activity, so from here, another activity, I can call it second. So these two activities together. And uh, uh, this activity, second activity, its role is running other pages. And this one for a splash. So we need to take some codes which were for running pages from this activity from main to second. One is this one and one, uh, the other one is this region. So this one, let's take it to create. And this one, as you see this region, it has some parts, resume and pause. So I want to cut it completely by control X. And here, first I need to remove them because I don't want to duplicate them. And I can paste it. 
So from here, I can run other pages. And from here, I can show splash. How to show it like normal activities. So I can say activity dot load layout splash. And then I can start this one, start activity, sorry, second, and we don't need this activity anymore. So we can say activity dot finish because then we will run this activity. And okay, so far it's good. And here we will run other pages. And um, once we initialize this one, it will run before its main page. And inside this one, we don't need splash anymore. And we don't need this one. And this one, we don't need it. We can take it to this page. And let's see other things that we have. Even this one, we don't need it because instead of loading this one here, I can copy it and load it here. So I hope that you are not confused here. We try to load the splash and here main page. Okay, now let's go to title bar. Here, I want to load title bar, action bar, whatever name. And here, I don't want that. So let's make it false. Later, we will tell you that this one is not needed to make it false, but for now. Let's run the application. Okay, now this is a splash. And after three seconds, I can see main page. Still, I have one problem. That is white background, maybe for 50 milliseconds before splash. Let's see that again. That is very fast. White and then this blue one. And now I have title bar and everything. How to get rid of that white um, uh, background? If you go to this page, this one, Splash, um, it says, don't miss the manifest editor code in before A. So there is something there inside manifest we will solve, which will solve that our problem, this code. If you go to uh, that example, this one, you will find this code inside manifest. So let's copy and paste it inside our manifest at the end. So let me make it smaller to see the end of that. Okay. Here at the end. Um, uh, I want to leave them here to show you the new code and the, the other code we just used. Okay. I think now we will face one error while compiling. Yes. It says I cannot find text primary, but it's there, isn't it? Let's go to manifest again. It says I cannot find this one. Why? It's here, isn't it? The problem is that here, actually, you're creating one file. Its name is colors.xml. And here again, you are creating that. And you don't have that item there. This takes this one. It's not here. And it says, I cannot find that. So the solution is that copying this one 
or maybe cutting this and removing this one because we don't want to um, create this colors.xml again. And I can paste it here. Now I can run my application, but let's see the other part, this one. Actually, this is a theme for main activity, only for main activity. And that is without action bar, and that is full screen. So it doesn't matter whether I make it true or false, because inside manifest, I said, main page, no action bar, and that is full screen. Let's see what happened. Okay, now it's okay. Instead of that white uh, screen, I can see another color, but that's different from my blue color, this color and this color. Why? Let's go to manifest. This is the final step. Um, actually, for a splash, we used this color, uh, no, this color, action bar. And now for main activity, we are using this color. Where is that? This item, we just copied that. So what about if I use action bar, this color? here. So it says window background will be this blue nice color. Let's see that again. Okay, now I see this one and this one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe in my channel and if you liked my tutorial hit that like button